now the first step is to disable steam input and then relaunch the game now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then go to the control tab over here select disable steam input now you can launch the game once again and then check still not working the next step is to disable steam input and then connect controller using the usb cable and then launch the game so first of all make sure that your over here disable steam input is selected now connect your controller using the usb cable using the wire which came with the controller you can use that cable to connect your controller to the computer and then relaunch the game next step is to enable controllers in sound control panel now for this you can uh, just type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel go to hardware and sound go to sound over here now over here connect your controller using the usb cable so first of all connect your controller using the wire connection so connect your controller using the usb cable now once you connect the controller over here you will see dual sense wireless controller if this is disabled like this you can make a right click and then click on enable and here you can see dual sense wireless controller make a right click and then click on configure speaker select quadraphonic and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says from uh, sorry front left and right and then surround speaker put a check on these two boxes and then click on next click on finish now you can launch the game and then check the controller now it's still not working the next step now the next step is to unplug all the external devices so if you have hotas wheel pedals if you have any any kind of usb adapter connected to the computer disconnected disconnect additional controller sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnected disconnect arcade stick disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any virtual controller like vjoy or any other virtual controller you can disable it or you can uninstall it and then launch the game and then check next step is to launch the steam in big picture mode with steam input disabled and then launch the game make sure steam input is disabled and then at the top right here you can see big picture mode i can click on it now once steam is in big picture mode now you can launch the game and then check the control still not working the last step is to use wired connection so you can connect your controller using the usb cable and then you can launch the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel